My name is Dr Natalie Semley and I am a Senior Lecturer in Sustainable Tourism Management here at Falmouth University. Uh, so last night we had the Dark Symposium which took place at Bodmin Jail and it was a celebration really of the dark stories that we find around Cornwall and how that can potentially build into a dark tourism industry here in Cornwall as well. Uh, so it's a really, really engaging evening, a variety of internal and external speakers and set in the most amazing venue, which just really brought all of those dark stories to light. Um, the team at Bodmin Jail just did a fantastic job of actually bringing the theme to life. And um, we discussed things like dark tourism and we discussed the ethics about devising those dark tourism strategies because it isn't all plain sailing. We have to think about um, the reason why people are traveling, the nature of the stories that are being told, if it's for education or entertainment purposes, and really question why are we doing this and can we make sure that we do it in a respectful way. So actually really think about the planning and the management of these stories. And I think the event last night itself actually showed how it can be done very tastefully can still be really engaging, but at the same time being respectful and ethical um, around these stories. Oh, what is it? Uh, it depends upon the literature that you choose to lean into, um, but you can have a look at things like Lennon and Foley, who actually place an emphasis on travelling to sites of um, sites that are associated with or where death has actually taken place, and we can talk about death and deviance and corruption, so you can see where ghost stories kind of fit into this. It's also um, thinking about why we're going to those places, and so it can embed elements of entertainment and education um, within there as well. But yeah, we're, we're kind of travelling to dark sites, so that could be sites where crimes have occurred or have been associated um, with those places, or it could be our kind of um, morbid curiosity taking us to places that we associate um, with dark tourism and dark sites in that way. So when we're talking about the ethics of dark tourism, I place an emphasis on regenerative principles and it's really getting to grips with the place and the people and the way we who live here want to share those stories and how uh, we want to reclaim some of those identities that were being discussed last night where Cornwall's had this diverse uh, history around these stories but people don't always know that. And so do we want to reclaim that identity and how do we want to share our heritage and culture and our understanding of these people and these places? So I think that's really healthy that we got to that kind of point of raising curiosity and seeing how it can be done in kind of a tasteful way. It's relevant in the way that we can diversify the tourism industry, so we're not trying to detract away from our incredible coastline and all the various activities that we've already got here in Cornwall. But we're thinking about how can we diversify the economy, how can we build the shoulder months, how can we actually provide a range of experiences for people coming to our county. And yes, there are the beaches, but there's so much more. And people have these natural curiosities about places that can we lean into those and engage them on a different level. So this is in addition to what we already do and that can help us to kind of really try and achieve the targets that are set out by our LVEP and actually think about can we be regenerative, can we diversify the market, can we help to build the shoulder months and the answer is yes. Death and suffering that might have in a place. It's really hard to kind of determine what the future looks like but we can kind of be driven by ethical principles and we can um, try and visualise the future in the way that it suits us. And with that visualisation, we can try and get there. So we don't know what the future will hold. Uh, we do know that the industry is worth a considerable amount. It's estimated to be around 31, 32 billion dollars for 2024. So we can have a slice of that potentially. Um, we can also think about all the niche forms of tourism that are here in the county and think about how we can place emphasis on some of those themes. So we could be thinking about cultural tourism in a different light, dark tourism, surf tourism, music tourism, you know there's all these different things that are happening in Cornwall and it's just like it's got a potential. As with tourism there's always a potential to achieve something. So if we've got that potential we've got some sort of um, 
motivation building and desire building from the community, then it's up to us. So at the end of the evening, um, I was approached by a number of different individuals and they were inspired by the evening's events, by the stories and the potential of having um, regenerative practices and I talked to them about storytelling and those sorts of potentials from a tourism perspective. So I'm really hopeful that I can kind of build upon some of those connections. Maybe we can help people create a new story well to get people from one location to another. Maybe we can help towns to actually build their dark tourism offering by stitching some of that together. So it was a real pinnacle of the evening to then have those conversations and think oh, that could be the next project and that really really excites me. To talk about all things dark and grim and ghastly. But something I said last night that maybe to pick up on is about the paradoxes that exist and this is where we need to be mindful. What's tourism about? It's about fun, it's about pleasure, it's about leisure. What's death about? It incites sadness, there's conflict, there's terror, you know, and those usually deter tourists. So we need to be really careful about how we develop the industry um, and how we stitch together some of the dark sites that already exist in Cornwall and how we st stitch some of those stories together. We've got to be really mindful of that because otherwise there won't be potential there that we can unlock. Because a lot of these are victims that we're talking about. Victims of crime, of criminality. They've got families too. Yeah. So how are we using their name? How are we depicting them in our stories? Is that okay? And as, it's something we've really got to be mindful of is having an awareness. Asking those questions actually gets us to that first stage of, yeah. is it okay? Yeah. Because we're not hiding away from all these dilemmas. We're exploring them and actually trying to confront them and to, to check we're being respectful. And they could be your ancestors that we're talking about. So, you know, there's, there's a lot there that we need to be mindful of. And it, we can embed it from within the centre of the county to the corners of the county, because all along the shoreline, shipwrecks, natural kind of, they can become tourist attractions in themselves and they can create stories that are devious, that are um, kind of around the criminality of the smugglers and so, you know, some really juicy stuff. So it doesn't just have to be about jails and witches, it can be about a whole raft of different things. But we should